Oh, hi, beautiful. <laughs> you look ravishing today. <sighs> okay, so YouTube is just filled. Filled. With routine videos, okay? We got morning routines, we got bedtime routines, we got nail routines, fake tanning routines, back scratching routines. I don't know if that's a thing, but it should be. I, there's a lot of routines, and there's also hair care routines. There are tons of them on YouTube. So we're gonna watch two people's totally different hair care routines, specifically hair styling routines, okay? And I'm gonna have a scoreboard somewhere on the screen. And every time I disagree with something that the person I'm watching does with their hair, I will explain why I disagree, why I feel like they should have done it differently, and then they will lose a point. That's the game today. We'll see what happens. I don't know. And if you like this, maybe I'll do it again. If you hate it, I will never do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna share a lot of my knowledge about hairstyling with you and it should be really fun. So let's do it. Woo! Okay, our first video is by Freddie, my love. This is my hair routine, care and style. Freddie, my love. Okay, can we get 10 points on the scoreboard? and let's begin watching. So we're gonna skip her hair washing because um, today I'm just not interested in that. We know a lot about hair washing for my channel. So <laughs> let's skip to her routine of styling. I wrap my hair up in a towel and pop my pajamas on. Like I said, this is mostly done in the evening, but obviously if it is the morning, then I'll just get dressed in clothes. I just give my hair a rough towel dry and then I try and leave it for a short while. Ah! <laughs> I get so- No! I'm sorry, Freddie, my love. <laughs> you just lost a point. Oh, <laughs> so soon. We just began the video. I'll show you that again. Ready for it? I just give my hair a rough <gasps> your poor hair so ah, you're just roughing up the cuticles you just, you just don't need to do that oh you're just tangling your hair roughing it up really just going at it with that towel um and, and towels they are very abrasive they are so textured they are really rough not good for your hair please just scrunch it with the towel that's all you need to do your hair already looks dry i mean i don't know what you're really getting out of that with the whole honestly the way of getting a lot of moisture out of your hair is letting the towel really soak in the moisture so leaving it on one spot for a long amount of time is going to really grab that moisture and suck it in this doesn't really do much sorry I mean, there you go, nine points. And then I'll just give it a final brush through with my Wet Brush Pro because it's just so gentle and lovely at getting tangles out. My hair's always so tangled after I've washed it. So yeah, because you just roughed it the hell up with the towel. <laughs> but um, the Wet Brush, great. Love a Wet Brush. Wet brushes are gonna be just so much better for your hair. They're especially made to work well on wet hair because the bristles in the brush are so flexible. So when they hit a knot in your hair, they're not gonna yank at it. A paddle brush, say, would yank at your hair because those fibers on the brush are very, very stiff and upright. And if you hit a knot with a flat brush, it's gonna really tear at your hair. And when your hair is wet, it's much more fragile. So be careful. So that's great, I love that. One more thing. She is now going in with Before Elmet Before I dry my hair, satin. I'm just going to spray in some of the L'Oreal Elmet heat protectants. Okay, I'm happy she's using a heat protectant. I don't know anything about that specific one, but I've done a lot of different experiments on heat protectants because of my own hair care line. That's a long story, but what I can say is my findings were that when you use them, they work. <laughs> So that's good. So I'm going to be using my GHD miniature travel size hair dryer just because it's so lightweight. Then I just give my okay. hair a rough blow dry until okay. I say it was almost about half dry. Okay, now listen, I'm gonna be really hard on these people in this video just because it's more fun that way. <laughs> I can't give everybody like a really high score. So I'm just gonna like, you know, just casually pick them apart a little bit. Love you guys. Thanks for being in my videos. <laughs> even though you didn't volunteer to be. GHD blow dryer, cool. Never used that one, seems legit. I do, however, not like that nozzle at all. I would have put a much more concentrated nozzle, but I'm glad she's using a nozzle in the first place. I would have liked if she 
prepped her hair with more product just because you know she has blonde hair she needs a little bit more love just something more to hydrate and smooth would have been great before she blow dried wet hair will really suck in those products and really get absorbed and then you can blow dry them into the hair so applying these products before the blow dry I personally believe is better so because she didn't apply more than a heat styling protector we're gonna take off one point from her scores. That brings her down to an eight, which is still a good number, okay? And I, again, I'm being very hard, but let's keep watching. There are many different products, but the one kind of standout product that I always find okay. myself going back to and repurchasing is the Phyto Paris. I think that's how you pronounce it, exceptional cream. So interesting, she kind of like blow dries 80% and then puts the product in her ends after. I'm glad she's putting product in, I'm happy about that. However, I do wish she put it in when it was a little bit more damp. And I just put a few pumps of this into my hand and just spread it kind of evenly through the lengths and ends of my hair. Then I will just continue blow drying my hair. And I've switched brushes because you aren't supposed to use the wet brush pro with heat. And okay. also this brush gives your hair a really nice smooth finish when you blow dry with it. And then once my hair is almost dry, I just throw it upside down and blast some air into the roots because it's really just gives it a bit more volume and then once it's fully and perfectly dry i just give it a final brush through oh and it's just the nicest feeling in the world having clean beautiful smelling soft lovely hair i just okay so here's the thing this girl has fabulous hair it's not frizzy it's quite beautiful i'm assuming that her hair probably dries quite nicely even without a blow dryer i have pretty much the same hair as her so i totally understand <laughs> blow dries amazingly with little effort and if she air dried it would probably come out very similar to this but i would prefer if she used sections when she blow dried just to make sure everything is neatly organized and i feel like the blow drying process is just faster when you section properly i'm not going to take a point off for that because that's just not necessary for her hair but it would be just faster for her i like to do halo sections so just take out this center part clip it up and do all around the outside first that way you get all the frizziness from up here and down here out and then you can move on to this part of your head which is not as curly and not as frizzy as this part but that's fine if she likes doing it that way it's all good i like that she flipped her head upside down and blew cold air in because it's gonna make her hair style stay a bit more voluminous after she's done but if you want even more volume definitely use a round brush next time oh it's the best feeling ever so then to style my hair i mostly use my l'oreal steam pod we work steam with pod. basically okay. any tool but i do find myself going oh. for l'oreal steam pod because it's very unique it uses water and steam ah! to create heat okay you can that do this technique with basically any styler and then once i get to the end i just curl it up and release so basically the ends of my hair flick and then whilst the hair is still hot I use my fingers to roll the hair up into a curl and pin it to the top of so once I've done this and all of my hair is pinned up then I have this really cool hairstyle I just use some hairspray the way oh, spray it right on her face go hard or sticky or horrid <laughs> but the reason I like doing this at night is because I like to put my hair up in a silk turban because when you're in bed lying on a pillow your hair is really prone to friction which causes frizziness and breakage and it also just keeps Keeps my curls in place because if I didn't wear the turban, they Let's would definitely see what fall happens. Out. So it just keeps the curls in place. So the next morning, I will just take all of the pins huh. out and let the curls loose. And I just absolutely adore the way this makes my hair look. Everyone uh -huh. thinks I've gone and had it blow dried, and I hardly ever do. It just looks really effortless. And okay, that was a lot. Let me break it down real quick. So she uses the steamer, which I've honestly never used a hair steamer before. It seems like quite an interesting contraption. And she kind of takes it and runs it really fast until she gets to the end and then flips her ends. What I think she's looking for is a really voluminous blowout kind of look without actually doing the blowout, which is quite confusing to me. Watching this, I feel like she goes through a lot of steps to just get a very simple look. If I were to do her hair and she wanted this look, I would just recommend learning how to do a nice round brush blowout on yourself. It's really not that hard with practice. You can do wide sections at a time. You can then pin it up after. You can wear it to sleep and you will get a much more voluminous, much more gorgeous, fabulous blowout. What she ended up with was beautiful. However, it could be a lot better and a lot simpler for her if she just did a simple round brush blowout. The other alternative for that, which is also easy, is doing everything she did, blow drying really fast, just getting the moisture out of her hair, and then taking hot rollers and putting the rollers in her hair overnight. Now that can be uncomfortable, so I don't blame her if she doesn't want to do that. So I understand that, but I just think a simple blowout is the best decision for her. And it just honestly would have been a better 
outcome with less work. So for that, I'm gonna take one more point off for you. <laughs> That's a seven. We are at seven points. Still not bad. Planning on being hard on people today. And I feel like seven's pretty good still. So let's keep watching until the end and let's see what else she does. I, there's still more, yeah. So for the finishing touches, I'll usually take a straightener and I basically just go over the top bits huh. of my hair in case there's any kinks there from where I had the curls pinned up. And then finally, I like to put some oil or serum into the ends of my hair and I'm using the Body Shop Beautifying Oil. I just throw a couple of drops into my hands and just run it through the ends of my hair. I hate the look of dry ends. Huh. So obviously I don't do this to my hair every single day. I do this I was gonna about say, girl, you got days. patience. So Okay, so she does this every three days, which still seems like, holy crap, girl, you have patience and time. Good for you. Ooh. Overall, the look was beautiful. I'm not saying this girl has bad hair. She did her hair poorly. It's beautiful. She has great hair. It's awesome. I commend her for all the work she puts into this. The straightener at the end did bother me slightly. And I know why she's doing it, because she had those kinks in her hair from putting the pins in her hair. If you make sure it's 100% dry before putting those pins in and holding those curls, it shouldn't really make a kink in your hair. It also might be because of the pins you're using. Try and use pins that are flat and don't use bobby pins. Those will make it easier for your hair to form into place and not get any ridges and bumps on your roots. The only reason why I don't like that you flat ironed it after is because you're kind of depleting a lot of that volume you had just kind of put in with that pin curl set. Nobody really likes flat hair when it's supposed to look like a beautiful voluminous blowout. You know what I mean? So for that, let's just take one more point off and leave her at a six. That is Freddie's number, a six. That is not bad. Again, you didn't do a bad job. I'm just nitpicking for the fun of it. Let's move on to the next person. Let's see if they will beat Freddie's score or will do worse than Freddie. Okay, and next we have something a little bit different. This is a wavy hair routine. This is by Dolce Candy, my wavy hair wash and go routine. She's styling her hair with a sort of natural vibe. So let's see how she does it. Slay those curls, wavy hair. Okay. And now I've ditched my towels okay. and I've opted out for a 100% cotton t-shirt. Yes, this is just an old t-shirt that I have. To dry my hair, I'm just gonna start by scrunching out all of the excess water. Oh, can we get a 10 on the board over here? Boom. So she is using a cotton t-shirt to dry her hair. Oh. Do I love to see this? I really do. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is awesome. Cotton t-shirts are just gonna be so much more gentle than an abrasive bath towel. It's just gonna be so good for waves because it's most important with waves to keep the wave fully intact and encourage absolutely no frizz to happen. And using a gentle fabric like cotton is, is going to ensure that you get no frizzing. This is awesome. This is so good, okay. So now that most of the water is out of my hair, I am yes. going to lay the same t-shirt down like so, and I'm actually gonna wrap my hair in this t-shirt. It's going to encourage all of the excess water to fall out, yes. and the curl is going Whoa, to okay. form a little bit better. She's I have good. no product in my hair yet, but it's also going to help my hair dry quicker without any Wait, frizz. What? Yo, how did she just do that? <laughs> what? That was the coolest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> what? That was like genius, the way she just wrapped her hair. Wow, I'm shook. Oh, girl, you got me on that one. I've never seen anybody do that before. Can we add another point to the board? No. She already has 10. She's still at 10. This is awesome. Now that my hair is nice and damp, I'm ready to start Let's styling my curls. Now I'm going to be using the Diva Curl. Frizz free. Volumizing volume, cool. This is going to add volume to the roots of my hair, which is something that I learned that I need to apply because previous times my hair started to lay flat because of the product was no, weighing down the curls. The so this is gonna give it a little bit of a lift on the roots and I just apply a few pumps and just massage it onto the scalp. So, uh, she's losing a point. Oh, we're down to nine. All right, because once again, I'm very hard on people today, but just there's a lot of this going on and a lot of shaking that beautifully formed wave you just made with the 
delicate drying technique you use of wrapping your hair in a t-shirt, you're kind of messing that all up right now. You know, when you apply the volumizing foam, maybe squirt a few pumps in your hands, turn your head over and just go like this on the roots. Just get it all on your roots, but just don't frizz it up. That is the last thing we want with waves is frizzing. And that's what's kind of going on right now, which is scaring me. Now I'm taking the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. This stuff okay. is amazing, but I have learned that a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. I'm using about that much and then I just rub it through my hands and my fingers and I apply it only to the bottom portion of my hair. So okay. also starting from the ears and below. And this is going to help my curls stay nice and defined. Okay, so I really liked the way she scrunched her hair there. It was quite beautifully done. The product looked like a very heavy, hydrating formula, sort of like a leave-in conditioner probably, which is great for waves because wavy or curly hair is pretty much always drier than straight hair. And now she's going in with another product. Next thing I use gel. is the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. This is another product that I use to eliminate frizz and to scrunch my hair. Um, once you dry your hair with either a diffuser or you air dry it, it's going to create a cast. So you have to release the curl from the cast by yes. scrunching it once the hair is dry so i, I am just I going to this. apply this the same way scrunch it up just like that i use a little bit on the front as well i love that she said that because a lot of people think that when your hair dries kind of hard with a product it's as if product's not good or it's making your hair too crunchy. The thing is, when you're using a holding product for curls, such as my product Glitterati, it can form a slight cast on the hair. Some people like that cast, some people do not like that cast, which is fine because you have the option of breaking up that wave after. You can still break it up and those curl defining properties from the product will still last in your hair. You can make your hair soft by running your hands through it breaking the cast up and it will still stay intact because the product has memory. It is laying on top of that hair and helping that wave stay. So that's fine. I love that she said that. So here's a little trick that I learned for volume from the Curly Girl, the handbook. Oh, it's a really awesome I love, book all about I love curly hair. And oh, what you do I is you this. take a section of hair yes. and you lift it up yes, yes, here yes, at yes. the root. And then you just simply clip it down. So you can see the hair has some volume. And I do this all around the crown. And this is going to lift and give me volume when I dry it. This is advanced. This is going to leave her hair with such great volume. You have the opportunity here to really manipulate the way your hair dries and get those really nice waves and volume right at the roots that you wouldn't probably normally get. I my hair and I love using my Dyson blow dryer because it's very powerful and it's also very light. For me, it takes forever to dry my hair with a diffuser <gasps> because I do not use any heat whatsoever to dry my hair. I want to stay away from that. So I'm using only cool, cold air. No, and... no, Dolce. Sorry, I just got like flashbacks. I've had models <laughs> tell me that I cannot use heat on their hair before and I get so annoyed. They're like, can you blow dry my hair with cool air? And I'm like, no, actually I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. I mean, cool, if she can do it, more power to her. Um, that just seems like not exactly necessary. You know, it's the intense, intense heat that we should stay away from. Otherwise, I don't think you really need to be using cool air. But if that makes you happy and you have the time to spend doing that, you know what, go for it. I'm not gonna take a point off for that because that's just really personal preference on that one. Um, but it does irk me a little bit. <laughs> also, heat really helps activate product and form curl. So I just feel like heat would be the better option here. Should I take a point off for that? Should I? Should I? No, I'm not gonna. I'm feeling nice for this very one second of this video. Start by just sort of going up and down with the diffuser for a few times just to kind of get the hair dry a little bit. Uh -huh. And it's also in medium speed because if not, it's going to give me more frizz. So yes. to me, this... Um, That's also great. Medium speed because if she has it on high, it's going to create a lot more frizz. I usually have it on like low when I'm doing wavy hair with a diffuser because what will happen is when you're holding the diffuser down here and pointing it up towards your hair, it'll take all those little baby hairs and kind of like make them fly up and it'll create a lot of 
frizz up here. So I usually, when I'm using a diffuser, I always try and blow dry downwards actually. So I don't exactly love that she's picking up the hair with a diffuser and kind of like going like that to her head. I kind of like to guide the hair into it from the side. So I kind of like take the hair, push it into the diffuser over here and hold it there with my hand. That way you're not creating more frizz this way. We're gonna take a point out for that. I feel like it. You know what? I've been too nice. I don't like that technique, okay? I'm sure it'll come up fine, but uh, I just think there's a more optimal way. So we're taking a point off. Sorry. Okay, Dolce, you lost the point. We're at an eight now, okay. I also just See, like add that. a little bit of good. the cold air to the roots just to dry them so I can take out those double prong clips that tend to get in the way. So just add some cold Her hair air looks great, directly though. onto not, that. I, I see a little bit and of frizz, but it's nothing serious. And then the trick is serious. just to, and then it can dry. I like the way she's doing this. I love it, I really love it. And escape, so. I'm just being very hard, That's basically all okay? I do for my hair. She's such gorgeous Blow dry hair. my hair some more. <sighs> so now my hair is about 80% oh, dry, that? which is okay. the maximum point of dryness that I like to leave my hair because my it just so gives me beautiful frizz free curls and oh she's really killing it with this one okay I love that she said she doesn't dry her hair fully you know she leaves it 20% wet 80% dry and then she leaves it to dry the rest naturally you're just not gonna get that perfectly shiny frizz free look unless you just leave it a teeny bit damp when you're done with the diffuser it's a great tip I love that what I'm doing now is just scrunching my hair with my dry hands no product Breaking to release up. the curls yes. from the gel Cast. So here you have it. My complete wavy hair wash that and was go amazing. routine. It looks so pretty. Okay, that was dope. Okay, Dolce Candy ended up with an eight. So Miss Dolce Candy, congratulations. You won today's competition. You have the better hair care routine. And again, this is me completely nitpicking, completely trying to find things wrong with these people's hair care routines. Those two were actually quite great. I didn't see anything totally out of the ordinary, crazy, totally wrong, but really impressed with Dolce on that beautiful, wavy, hair care routine. It was fabulous. So congratulations, you're the winner. <laughs> you get absolutely nothing. Woo! That was fun. I actually really enjoyed that. I feel like we all got educated a little bit. I learned some things. I'm sure you guys learned some things. And it was quite fun. So that's all I got for you today. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know. Also, if you guys want to try out some amazing, fabulous, glorious hair products to bring your hair to the next level please check out xmonohair.com linked below check out xmonohair on instagram for updates and new product launches and follow me on instagram and twitter at bradmononyc where i just post pretty pictures of myself and that is all for today thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you next time bye